Angie here from Angie's Nail Swag. So listen up. Um, I did my first video earlier and posted it. This is my second video. And when I posted it, I noticed there was another Angie's Nail Swag. So I'm getting ready to incorporate my own salon. And now I'm thinking about, man, I need a petty. So let me know what you think down below. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. So I saw a uh, review online from the Meticulous Manicurist. And she had got some... Uh, Lacquet polishes in their gelato line and does, did a review on them. So I use uh, D and D um, and Creation over here, and I was like, you know, she said great things about Lacquet. Let me check it out. So I went online, bought a couple, uh, bought a couple polishes. I got seven, six or seven of that, seven of them. Um, and I wanted to check them out, and I said, you know what? She does a great review. Meticulous manicurist is awesome. She does a phenomenal job of pedicures. Let me see, you know, if this works for me up here in the north, um, and if it's as good as she says, says it is. So before I spent a whole bunch of money and got a whole bunch of colors, I did get seven. Um, I just presented them to you in the video. I got Chocolate Frost, Rubbles Glitter, which which is beautiful. I'll show you in a second. Um, Deep Blue Sea, Sequins, Black Pearl, uh, Mocha, and then the last one was... Cherise or Cerise. So, um, first, what I'm going to swab is uh, Rubles Glitter. And we'll talk about that one for a little bit. There were a couple in, in this that were a little funky. Um, the first thing I didn't like is that when I opened the package, I got the old bottle, which was odd because when I purchased it from the website, it showed the new bottle. Um, but all in all, if the ingredients haven't changed, you know, it, it should be the same. So Swabbing Rubbles Glitter, uh, the first time I've ever used Lacquet uh, Gel Polish from Invoke. So I shake it up a little. Uh, I've had it for a couple days at this point, so I wanted to do a video. And getting ready to stick it on um, my swatch. So I'm checking it out, and the brush is looking a little funky, if you can see there. Really clumped. Uh, I was actually surprised with this. There's only been a couple instances when I've seen a brush look like this. So, uh, still, you know, meticulous manicurist said it was great. Still have very high hopes. Uh, started putting it on the swatch, and yes, that brush was messed up. Um, I don't know if you can see me dabbing it there, but that color was amazing. Super vibrant, uh, but the brush it is all 100% in the application. So you see me there out of screen trying to clean it. Uh, the pigment on that is phenomenal. Um, I actually showed you the lint free wipe. So I was super impressed. The color is gorgeous, but the color can be great if the application is shit. You know, you get what you get. So I showed you how it was all chunked up. But cleaned off the brush, so let's see how it works out now. Oh my god. And I am dying watching this color go on the swatch. It is gorgeous. Oh my. And there I'm just staring at it, um, saying, wow. Beautiful color. Uh, it's a little bit thinner than the D&D, which is great. It makes the application very easy. Some people don't like really thick gel. Um, it just makes the nail so much thicker. So let's check out Cerise um, before I throw the, the rubbles um, in the UV dryer. So not sure um, how this was going to look. The brush on the first one was a little messed up. Uh, once, I, once I cleaned it out, the application seemed to be um, a little bit better and the color is to die for. If you're going to just buy one lacquet gel polish uh, and you're into reds, this is the color that you want to buy. So I threw it in the UV, came back, uh, putting on the second coat. As again, you can see that I am admiring it. Uh, just cleaning up my spot a little bit there and look how beautiful that is. I don't know if you can see the glitter shine in there, but the pigment is gorgeous. The glitter is just enough, but not too much. I wouldn't call it 
a holographic glitter, but it is visible and it is vibrant and it is gorgeous. I also like the fact that I'm using a clear um, swatch, which I like to do so that you can really see the true color of, of the gel polish, but there was a little bit of a transparent tint to it. So what I liked is the fact that jelly nails are a big hit now. This could be a gorgeous jelly nails color. Um, super impressed. So taking out the second color now, um, I did like the rubbles, didn't like the fact that the, um, the brush was messed up, but let's go ahead and check out the next color. Was rubbles just a gorgeous fluke with an effed up brush? Um, who knows? So let's check out number two, opening the box, color cerise. Uh, it looks like it's a dark pink. Um, color on the on the little uh, sticker on the box. So I'm looking at it again. It is a thinner gel polish. I really, really like the consistency here. Um, so let's get ready to swatch it and check this out. Is it gorgeous? And sorry about the dog bone in the left, you guys. Oh, yes. So this was up oh, and there he goes. That's my dog Rico Suave. You guys will meet him at another point. Super handsome. So this is another beautiful color. So two out of two, I am impressed. It's very much like a pink pearl. This brush is splendid. I guess that would be the word. There were no issues with it. The application was very smooth. Um, so far, two out of two. So let's throw that in the UV dryer. There it is. Beautiful. And again, this is the first coat, so this is obviously a color that you need two coats with. You cannot get away with one. Um, but, you know, it could be used with with a jelly, jelly applicator. I mean, jelly nails, sorry. So second coat, I thought I had already put the second coat on the uh, rubble. So apology, I just couldn't wait. I'm throwing that second coat on there, and oh my god, it's getting even more beautiful. As I said, there are a couple of colors here that I had issues with um, and a couple of colors that if you are going to invest in the lacquer gel polish, you know, hopefully you get the, oh my God, there you go. Hopefully you get, um, I don't know why I got the old bottles. Hopefully you get the new bottles because um, they are super duper cute, which is why I took the meticulous manicurist up on her review. Um, cause I was like, Ooh, wow. You know, if, if this works out well, I can make a wall of lacquer in my shop and it'll be gorgeous. Got the old bottles, but you know, if the polish is great, the colors are great. Clients are going to choose it and black bottles are always classy. Um, so no big deal. All right. So what did I do? I was chatting along and it looks like I got the third color, um, which looks to be black pearl yes um this color i actually have it on my nails right now i did my nails after this video um and i had to use the lacquer colors on myself the black pearl was phenomenal i uh have it on right now actually with a matte top coat which i was a little nervous about because this black pearl um is like a dark gray and definitely has a uh, effervescent or a pearl color to it it's almost like a steel so I wasn't sure how the matte top coat was gonna look but you guys it is phenomenal when I do matte I do like to do black or white um, you know very solid colors I usually don't do colors with with a small tinge of glitter or a small tinge of shine but this looked phenomenal with matte. It dulled down the black a little bit, made my nails look a little classier. I'll actually post a video at the end of this of what my nails look now with these lacquer uh, polishes, so you guys can check that out. All right, just took Cerise out of the UV dryer. I'm throwing the second coat on. Let's see how that looks. And oh my, my, my. It's gorgeous really 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 like it um still a little bit on the transparent side this may uh require three coats which is okay i can see how i was showing you my hand through it so you can't see through it um but you know what there's a use for this color and clients are going to love it 
So let's go ahead and grab the fourth one um, because Black Pearl is in the UV dryer right now. So we are about to check out Mocha. Um, so usually not into a lot of browns, um, although the reason why I did choose them in the Lackey collection is because I don't currently have a lot of browns and clients were asking for them. So Mocha looked a little bit darker um, on the box. The, these colors, um, the little stickers on here, I would not say are, are true to the color. So if you're buying them within a store and not online, don't go by that. Also don't go by the name. Mocha I expected to be a lot darker brown. Um, but when I put this color on the swatch, this is a gorgeous mauve nude color. My clients are going to go crazy over it, um, and I may have to re-up and get another bottle pretty soon because this color is beautiful. It's going to look great with a really pastel pink. Um, maybe even a pale yellow will look gorgeous, but this color, I mean, so far... I, what I was thinking, what was going through my mind as I was doing these swatches is I was like, all of these colors, as random as they are, would look amazing together, which is, which is weird because not a lot of colors go well together. Um, but I could literally, with the exception of one or two combinations, um, put all of these colors on a hand and it would look amazing. So Cherise just came out. Um, of the UV dryer. We got Rubbles ready, Black Pearl, about to get the second coat. So let's check this bad boy out. Again, I have uh, Charisse and I have Black Pearl on my nails right now. Um, actually, I have the sequence as well too, which you guys are going to see in a second. So throw in the Black Pearl on. It is looking even more beautiful. Um, so Let's check that out. You're going to see it on the screen. And then, oh, there it is. Gorgeous. It's a really dark gray uh, still color. Loving it. So if so far you've got to grab a couple colors and you're not sure what to get, if you're into reds, my goodness, if you're into glitter, right, get the rubbles. It is beautiful. Some people don't like red nail polish. You either love it or you hate it. It's one of those things. But you cannot hate this color by Lacket. Hopefully you'll get a better brush. I was able to clean mine. You can always get a new brush anyway. Uh, for the price of the bottle, the brush should be good. I believe uh, it's probably around, four, I think it is around $14 to $15 a bottle for the Lacket. Um, so you would, you know, expect the bottles. But the quality of the polish is um, is great. Meticulous manicurist is nice. Uh, it was not as nice. Well, she is nice, but she was very right. So we're going on putting on the sequence again. That's a color I have on my nails right now. Had to, as soon as I was done doing this video and swatching these colors, I had to get these colors on my nails. So I did the pink, the black pearl and the sequence, um, which you'll see in a second. Of course, can't go without the bling. Um, I did sneak in another color from D and D DC called lumber pink. Uh, but all that will be in my after video. So again, this box actually came a little messed up. Um, one of the hard gels that I had ordered in the shipment leaked um, on the box, which isn't great. But, you know, as long as the polish isn't destroyed, it is what it is. So we are, we are um, splotching the sequence. So check that out. I was psyched when I pulled the color out of it. And I was like, you guys, because I did not want one of those. I love glitter, but the clear silver glitter that has no pigmentation in the background, to be honest, that's what I was expecting out of this bottle. Heck no. This is a gorgeous steel sequence polish, and it is beautiful. And I could not wait to get it on with the black pearl. So I was super psyched. Um, I always love new glitter colors and pigments. I have every glitter that you can imagine. I am a glitter girl. Look at that. Are you kidding me? How gorgeous is that? It almost on the first coat looks like a uh, dark nude mauve purple, but it actually is more of a steel gray. But you could, if you threw it on your nails with um, a mauve darkish purple, it, it would start to look purple. This color is gorgeous. Um, it catches the sequence. Um, the sequence catches the other color that you're wearing, and it is beautiful. Again, um, no issues with the brush. 
brush. So there goes the mocha. Uh, mocha got second coat. It's looking beautiful. Uh, you can see there that even the mocha goes with the black pearl. The mocha, as you see those four on the table, you could put all of those colors together. So I am at this point loving black it, really loving it. Um, so here goes, oh, the deep blue sea. First of all, this brush was more messed up than the rubbles color, the red one at the beginning. Um, the polish was not going on well. It was bumpy. It was thick. It seemed old. And the color, I mean, is not all that. I love blues, huge fan of blues, but that blue, the only time, well, eh, hey, you guys might love blues, but that's more of like a 4th of a July blue than me. Um, there I am testing it with the other, other colors. There's the, the red and blue. Would be good 4th of July. But after I had swatched the red, the pink, the black pearl, and the mocha, um, this and the way it went on the swatch was just the application of it was a huge disappointment. So I threw it in the UV light, uh, hoped that, hey, maybe it would come out even more beautiful, but we all know. You know, probably not the case. Second coat going on uh, the sequence, the glitter, and I am in awe. Uh, the more times I'm using the brush, it's just because it's so beautiful and I want it to be perfect. And I couldn't wait to get these colors together. As you can see, I'm throwing the black pearl next to the sequence, what I have on my hand right now. Look at that. Are you kidding me? It is gorgeous. And I'm just staring at it, admiring it. Yeah, I know. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. And then we are grabbing um, the chocolate frost, I believe. We did the black pearl, the mocha, the sequins, the deep blue sea, which I don't love. So here goes the, uh, the chocolate frost. Let's check this bad boy out. Which chocolate frost, not necessarily a polish I would pick. But there was a request for more browns, so, okay, I was going to get them. Let's see what this chocolate frost looks like. And actually, uh, subscribe and comment down below, would you buy a polish named Chocolate Frost? I pulled it out, and I'm loving it. Ooh, and it is a gorgeous copper color. It is not what I would think Chocolate Frost to look like. But if this was a candy bar... I would mow it down. It is almost a gold. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. Neither one of these are, are dark browns, yet the little sticker on the front that shows the color makes them both look like dark browns. So there we are with uh, chocolate frost and mocha next to each other. Can you wait to put those colors together? I wish I had more hands. Um, I know some of the girls that do nail videos they always have two different hand nails um just because they're just so excited and want to use all their products that they get and um not something well not necessarily something i do something i can't do because i want both my hands to look the same and i would never think to put chocolate frost and red together but that would look beautiful at christmas so i am digging these lacquer colors um the beginning of the shipment was not great I started out with spills in my box, which I wasn't happy about. A hard gel. Oh, check out that deep blue sea. Can you guys see those bumps on there? Um, now you can see why I'm not I'm not loving it. Uh, I don't know if that's the color, but check out that brush. You see those lumps on there? It looks like the polish has been sitting for years. Oh, you can see the way I'm drying it off. And look at those go on. Look at those lumps. Oh, Lord. Oh my. Yeah, I wasn't digging that situation. Not only was I not really digging the color, but the lumps weren't weren't doing good for me either. But six out of seven, I love it. Lack it totally has my thumbs up. So as I said, it is a thinner consistency. It does go on very easy. Many of these polishes are going to need a second coat. Um, creation, which I use a lot, you can get away with one coat. You always want to do two coats. That's the best practice, right? 
but there is a difference when you're putting these polishes on. This definitely needs a second coat in some cases, um, maybe even a third coat, depending on, you know, what your client is looking for. Um, but with, you know, a little, a little thinner or mixing a, a base gel with these, you can get a more transparent color and do um, a jelly nail. So um, look at that. I am just playing with these colors, the sequins and the Charisse together. Look how gorgeous. So I had mentioned that it could have a purple tinge. Um, when you put it next to the pink like that, it does do a little bit of reflection. Um, but I couldn't stop playing with these. And I am never like that with swatches. I love colors and I love glitters. But when I do swatches, usually I have so many to do at a time that I never spend this much time just looking and admiring the colors. And might I say that these are not colors that I would normally pick, but I am digging them big time, except the deep blue sea. So throwing the last uh, coat on right now on that chocolate frost, which is gorgeous and loving it. I'm actually curious uh, what your experiences are with Lacket. This is not a brand that I would have bought if it wasn't for the meticulous manicurist. Um, outside of going to nail school um, and beauty academy, I, uh, I do a lot of YouTube videos and I'm constantly practicing, um, checking out new trends, seeing what's new, new, what are my clients going to come in and ask for because I don't want to tell them I don't know how to do something. So Meticulous Manicures is one of the professionals that I watch. She is amazing. Um, her specialty is pedicures, but she's super great. And, you know, her recommendation, I will always take. I'm always taking the girls' recommendations, um, you know, and, and seeing what they're using, what, what they like, what their clients are asking for. Um, because this is an ever, ever changing industry, right? And as a nail tech, you constantly need to know what's out there and what's hot. Um, just like clothes change, style changes, nails change. And nails are a really big part of your accessory. Um, I actually think that there is a quote out there that says that, you know, your nails can make any outfit that you're wearing look new. Um, so you don't want to have dingy nails. So i um, putting these back right now, and I'm about to do a couple final shots of the lacquet. Um, but before you go, um, just a quick run through. I got the Rubbles Red. If you're only going to get one color um, of lacquet, if you can only afford one color, uh, the ones I would say to go with would be definitely the Rubbles Red. Normally, I would lean to the pink, but this has a little bit too much transparency for me, although it is a beautiful pink pearl, so I wouldn't say not to buy it. Um, but the Rubbles, the Rubbles Glitter would definitely be one. The Black Pearl, and then the sequins Glitter. If your skin, depending on skin tones, a lot of times people look good with the gold versus the glitter, just like with jewelry, right? Um, so if you do look a little bit better with the golds, I would say definitely pick up that chocolate frost. But all in all, if you're looking to invest in a product, I don't know how many colors Lacket has. I don't think that they have as much of a variety as some of the other um, vendors out there like uh, OPI or D&D. Um, but they do have really, really great polish. Um, it goes on nicely. Just don't buy the deep blue sea. Let's, um, let's chop that up as a fluke because their polish was really, really, really good. So I'm just going through, I'm taking the alcohol off these, um, or taking alcohol to get that tacky layer off the inhibition layer, right? So I can throw on the top gel, um, put it in the UV and then we'll do a final shot. But um, again, this is my second YouTube video. I love nails so much that I just wanted to share it with you guys. I am living the nail life. Um, I spent, you know, 12 years in corporate America and sales, um, listening to the man. And then I decided one day, you know, hey, I'm going to take a major pay cut, big time pay cut. My husband was not psyched. Um, there I am throwing on the top coats because I could not wait to get the top coat on, which is when, as nail techs, we know everything comes to life. Um, but you know what? If you're not a nail tech, if you didn't go to school, um, if you did an apprentice and you're just, you know, doing it yourself at home, 
Um, if you want a really good nail polish that applies easily so it will look beautiful on your nails, I would definitely pick up the Lacket. There I go with the with the top coat on those bubbles. Usually top coat, um, especially the one that I use, is repairs um, or gets rid of any um, flaws in the nail. But the top coat did not get rid of the flaws in this deep blue sea. So, um, you know, it is what it is. But <clears throat> I do use a very thick top coat and usually it levels over the nail um, and will get rid of any of those imperfections, but it did not do that with the Deep Blue Sea. But again, you know, if you're looking to apply some beautiful product to your nails, if you want to invest in a product that, that is of a higher caliber, um, I would say Lacket is definitely of a higher caliber. I don't know what other videos are on there. The only time I had um, really heard a recommendation about this product was with the meticulous manicurist she had gotten the gelato line um in the mail i think that they sponsored the video but she had swatched some beautiful colors um as well she did get the new bottles for some reason i got the old ones but it is what it is it could have been um the vendor that i purchased from i use a couple specific nail supply stores um, that I'm very loyal to, that I get rewards and things like that. So I'm just laying out all the colors here as you can see. I do not mind playing with polishes. I don't mind playing with glitter. I don't mind playing with gels. Um, that bottle right there happened to have the messed up box with the hard gel all over it, which you know is super sticky because you need to stick in the UV for it to dry. So when it gets everywhere, it gets everywhere. But um, if you guys have other color recommendations on Lacket, I am definitely going to, uh, invest in more. I would like to have, um, at least, you know, 20 colors for, for clients to choose from. I have seven, so, um, I do need to probably pick up a yellow, have a little bit more variety. I would like some pastels, see if they have any neons. So, if you guys um, do have any color recommendations, of course, I'm obviously not right picking by name because uh, if I didn't take a couple guesses on this and just go totally rando, I would not have picked the Chocolate Frost. Um, well, actually, eh, maybe because uh, one of my clients asked for brown, but eh, probably not Mocha either. But look at those colors as they lay there. Are they Gorge or what? Um, so a couple, eh, oh, so uh, that blue just, I am not feeling it. Look at all those beautiful colors together. And then that blue's just sitting there like, are you kidding me? Oh Lord. So I'm putting them down. Um, so I do need a couple color recommendations from you guys. If you've ever used Lacket, if you do end up ordering one of these colors, um, and you don't like it. Let me know about that too. Um, again, Deep Blue Sea, probably not a good investment. Maybe I got a black bottle, but I'm not digging the color either. But check those gorgeous swatches out and you can't see anything. What the heck am I doing with the camera? Come on, Angie. Come on. Come on. Where are you? Oh, goodness. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not good enough with video to... Not yet. But since I'm going to be a YouTube expert, I will get that shit right. But check out that copper color. And that's my office. It's a bit of a mess because I've been ordering a lot of stuff. So beautiful. Final shot. Final shot. That's Lacket. And check that out. Gorgeous. Buy these gel polishes. Um, a couple of these colors. Again, I would go with the sequence, the black pearl, and the red, which is number one, number three, and number five. And then if you want to go with seven, definitely do that too if gold looks good with your skin tone. But check those bad boys out. They are beautiful. And check out this set that I did with these lacquer colors. Plus one D&D &D DC Lumber Pink. Love y'all.